I recently noticed this mid-sized hand warmer. It's about the same size as an S Boston. It's fairly inexpensive. It comes out of China. But what attracted my attention to it was the head. It's got that similar it's not the same kind of mesh as a John E. It looks like a fine mesh that's um, similar to something that catches dryer lint in your dryer. I'm not sure what's inside of it, but before I take it apart and find out, I think what I'm going to do is be tempted to try it, if I can ever get this head off. So I'm going to put a carbon felt strip in the top and then I'm going to fill it and then I'm going to run a test and see how hot this gets and then after we've done that maybe uh, I'll be tempted to put a spring in here and try again and see if there's any improvement and of course if there is no improvement uh, I'll probably just throw this video in the trash bin. Well I'm not the brightest guy on the block but is it just me or I filled this up about an hour ago. I've tried to light it twice. I'm going to give it a third time try. Kind of interesting, there's a, uh, the pattern on here. Isn't that the insignia of the uh, Chinese military or Chairman Mao's little red book or something? I'll have to go look that up. Um, another point worth mentioning is you get an instruction card with this thing from China, but it was clearly written by somebody with a greater than normal proficiency with English. It's it's actually quite well rendered in English. Um, it says to do this and so you get a nice orange glow. Well, as soon as you put a flame on this metal screen, you get the orange glow. You also, can you see the smoke coming off there? Hooey. I'm going to have to get out of this room. I don't know what's coming off of that, but I really don't care to breathe it in. At that, my advanced age group, you need all the extra minutes on this planet that you can kind of arrange, and I don't think that smoke is going to make a contribution to that lofty goal in life. So it started getting hot. So I hooked up the temperature probe, came back five minutes later and it actually just went out. So <clears throat> I'll try lighting it again. It only went for about uh, maybe 20 minutes, at most half an hour, and then went out. And it has lots of fuel in it. So we'll give it another try. I got about 110 out of it when I first put the probe onto it. Right about there. Um, give it another try. See what happens. Now it's stayed lit for a few hours and it looks like the temperature has never exceeded much more than about 110. So now I think we'll see what happens if we do something with changing the catalyst out. Well it went out again after achieving a maximum temperature of around 110. I'm not going to give up on it just yet because I'm curious to see what is inside this screen here and I'm wondering if it's the screen itself is not very favorable to providing oxygen to what I assume is the platinum catalyst that's stuck inside and like no, most normal platinum it's not platinum from China I suspect that it is a combination of palladium and Just basically oh my goodness what is that that's not even catalyst material that I can tell hmm 
boy that's odd looking so what I think I will do here's a spring that was originally brought in for the S Boston and it looks like it'll fit in there I think I can straighten those tabs out and uh, if that won't go in then the uh, large John E spring looks like it will definitely fit hmm. it looks like the spring that we've got for the S Boston which is 11 millimeters in diameter will indeed snuggle into the top of that head so I think I'm going to try that one to begin with and just like we do for the John E Giant I'm going to put a full catalyst pad into that spring I am a little dubious that neck is pretty small uh, it looks to be like as small if not smaller than what you standard get on a Zippo which we consider to be possibly the root cause of all the Zippo problems you have to kind of work at getting the spring down under those top shrouds on the head but as you can see it does clip in there quite nicely and snug now I'm going to go and uh, put some more fuel in this guy and see what happens when we try and activate that it seems to be slowly climbing up trying to inch its way up to about the 150 mark so we've increased the amount of temperature so far by about 35 degrees Fahrenheit I guess it will remain to be seen if it can climb a little higher than this and hit 150 or not 